All right, so in this equation, I have three to the power of x to the power of three over nine to the power of x is equal to 81. So to solve this, I'm gonna first write nine as three squared. So I get three to the power of x to the power of three over three squared to the power of x is equal to 81. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of x to the power of 3 over 3 to the power of 2 times x, so 3 to the power of 2x, is equal to 81, I'm going to rewrite as 3 to the power of 4. So now notice how I have everything in the base of three. So this is going to make it much easier to solve. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So three to the power of x to the power of three over three to the power of two x is going to equal three to the power of x to the power of three minus two x, which is equal to three to the power of four. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So x to the power of 3 minus 2x is equal to 4. And now if I subtract 4 on both sides, I get x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now we have an equation here, and this isn't a regular quadratic equation because we have a power of three here, and we have a missing power of two. We don't have a power of two. So to actually solve an equation like this, what we have to do is we have to test out values, and then once we get a value that works out, we have to use that one value to find all the remaining values that are solutions to the equation. So let's first start out with one. If x is equal to one, then I get one to the power of three minus 2 times 1 minus 4, which does not equal 0. Now if x equals 2, I get 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 times 2 minus 4. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 8 minus 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 minus 4 is 0. So this does equal 0. So 2 is a solution. To be more precise, x equals 2 is a solution, meaning x minus 2 is equal to 0. So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide x minus 2 with x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4. So I get x to the power of 3 minus 2x minus 4 over x minus 2. And to solve this, we're going to have to use synthetic division. And if you guys don't know what that is, I would recommend watching a YouTube video on it. So our coefficients of our numerator is 1, negative 2, and negative 4. And then we have a 2 over here. I'm going to bring down 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 2 times 0. Oops, sorry, I actually did something wrong. We should have a 0 in here because, remember, we have a power of 2. So because there's no power of 2 here, we just put a 0. Now, if we bring down 1, we get 2 times 1, which is 2. 0 plus 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 2, time, negative 2 plus 4 is 2. And 2 times 2 is 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So we have a remainder of 0. And we get x squared. Our coefficient is 1 plus 2x. Coefficient is 2 plus 2 at the end. So I get x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to this. And this also means that x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. So for this equation, I get x minus 2 is equal to 0, and x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. For x minus 2 equals 0, x is obviously equal to 2. And we already got this solution before, so this is no surprise. Now for x squared plus 2x plus 2 equals 0, to solve this, we have to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. 
So I get x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 2, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And now this is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus a, which is negative 4 over 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 times negative 1 over 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 2i. Square root of negative 1 is the same thing as i over 2, which is the same thing as negative 1 plus or minus i. So my three solutions to the equation are x equals 2, x is equal to negative 1 plus i, and x is equal to negative 1 minus i. All right, so in this problem, I have 500 to the power of 500 divided by 250 to the power of 250. So to solve this, what I'm first going to do is rewrite this as 500 to the power of 250 plus 250 over 250 to the power of 250. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 500 to the power of 250 plus 250 is going to equal 500 to the power of 250 times 500 to the power of 250. And I have all of this over 250 to the power of 250. Now this is the same thing as 500 to the power of 250 times 500 to the power of 250 over 250 to the power of 250. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of n. So in this case, I have 500 to the power of 250 over 250 to the power of 250. And I can rewrite that as 500 over 250 to the power of 250. Now, this is equal to 500 to the power of 250 times 2 to the power of 250. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So in this case, a is 500, b is 2, and of course, m is 250. So I get 500 times 2 to the power of 250, which is equal to 1,000 to the power of 250. And this is the same thing as 10 to the power of 750. 